Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Project 52. My name is Troy Castellano. We're here at the, the shed. It's my blue heaven in, in uh, Columbia, Tennessee. And today I am delighted to have Michaela Clark Lane here. Hello, Hello everybody. Uh, I call her Mickey. I guess that's yeah. a family. That's uh, a family thing. Troy yeah. can do it. We've known each other yeah. forever. So it's all good. Um, uh, Michaela's been a Canadian artist that moved down to Nashville a few years ago. I think we met about the same time we both moved here. We did back Maybe in 2015, I think it yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad we did because we've written some great songs. And Michaela's a Canadian artist. She's getting uh, airplay up there and doing pretty well. You got a single out right now that's uh, doing good on Sirius, right? Yes, I sure do. It's No Love Left to Lose, which is on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. But Who did you write that song? I wrote that with Robert Wolf. And so, oh, and wow. it just, I yeah. actually, I had found out from Rest you that, peace, yeah, that, that he had passed away. And I was literally, I was with my parents and we were driving, we were in British Columbia driving to a wedding and um, I said to my parents I was like you know I think the next single I want to release is No Love Left to Lose and I literally looked on my phone at Facebook and you had posted that he had passed away and I was like that's a sign I have oh, to yeah. do it for Robert so I released it and it's doing super great and so I'm just really really thankful yeah. that I was able to write it with Rob cancer sucks man it takes does. takes the best people uh I, not to go on about this but there's another person that I, I worked with just a little bit in minnesota and uh he actually um found out like two weeks ago he had pancreatic cancer mm. and he's gone already wow like that fast but it's terrible <laughs> I don't want to bring people down because we're here no. to have some fun. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're going to do a song that we wrote with Donna King. Yep. Right? Yes. And this is one that I came into the writing session with Troy and Donna. Oh, and yeah. The story. Let's hear it. Right. That. Yeah. I'll tell you the story. I'm a talker. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but I came into the writing session and... Every time I leave Canada, as all my family, you guys watching, know that I always cry when I leave because I hate to leave my family. So my goal is one day to have them all come down here because why not? It's Nashville. It's beautiful. Yeah. But anyway, so my mom said to me, she's like, well, what are you going to do? You know, you're living there forever. What are you going to do every time we drop you off? And I said, well, I guess I'll always cry. I said, unless you drop me off drunk. And that just, you know, I thought that's a great song title. And Troy and Donna are two of my favorite co-writers. And so I was like, I have to take it to both of them. And Troy texted me and was like, hey, you and you and I and Donna should write. And I was like, I have the greatest, greatest idea. And I just thought of that. And so I was really happy yeah. to bring it in and write it with you guys. Yeah, that, I'm glad we wrote that that day. And that, that song, so what you're saying is it's like, it's easier to take the goodbye when if you have a your little bit feelings of a buzz. are numbed a little <laughs> bit by the yeah by a drink or two right yeah not getting totally wasted but no. just enough to make it and I'm not a big drinker <laughs> I yeah. promise I'm diabetic so I can't <laughs> yeah and tr but. that's truth that's that's real life right there where yeah. it comes from so right should we give this a roll let's try it all right everybody this one's called drop me off drunk I love this song oh me too it's all one right. of my faves you ready ready here we go. Got my best dress on for this hard goodbye. You always make me laugh, so I won't cry. Maybe we should dance. Try not to think before I get to feeling weak. Or just one more strong drink. If I ain't gonna stay, if you ain't gonna come If I gotta board the plane, you ain't on the runway too Ain't gonna know what I'll do Let's turn these black bar stools into first class seats Tell that bartender, pour a double for me I'm gonna need a chaser for the pain Need a little buzz to drop me off drunk Baby, drop me off drunk Well, you can let me out At the taxi club Drive away real fast To slow down this hurt When I'm all checked in I'll be checking out 7.37 high while my heart's back on the ground 
If I ain't gonna stay, if you ain't gonna come If I gotta board the plane, you ain't on the runway too Ain't gonna know what I'll do Let's turn these black bar stools into first class seats Tell that bartender pour a devil for me I'm gonna need a chaser for the plane Need a little buzz So drop me off, drum Oh, baby, drop me off, drop me off, drop me off, drum Well, that fly won't be the only reason for the red eye But the land is gonna be softer if it ain't a sober eye No Well, can you drop me off? Oh, baby, drop me off drunk oh, If I ain't gonna stay, if you ain't gonna come If I gotta board the plane, you ain't on the runway too Ain't gonna know what I'll do Let's turn these black bar stools into first class seats Tell that bartender pour a devil for me I'm gonna need a chaser for the pain Need a little buzz So drop me off drum Oh, baby drop me off drum I don't need no champagne Cause I ain't gonna celebrate just need a little whiskey to take this thing away. Yeah, I love that song. Thank you, Troy. Me Michaela too. Michaela Clark, drop me off drunk. Awesome. I love your voice, Mickey. Oh, thank you, Troy. Thanks so, for making me sound good with your yeah, harmony and guitar. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm so glad you came down here again. We're in my little rock shed again. <laughs> uh, hey, I just got to put this out there right away, too. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit this mark of 1,000. We're almost up to 500 and just about halfway through this project. So I think I'm on cue, but the more the merrier, right? So just click that little subscribe button and uh, share it with your friends and hit the notification notification bell and leave a comment too i'd love to hear what you guys think of this stuff yeah. um and i'm so blessed to be able to write with so many talented artists and michaela's one of them and what are you up to now like you got the single out right and so you so you have an ep you put out last year called detours right, right. two years ago now actually it's oh, so it's been, hard to believe yeah. yeah 2017 um i have one more single to release off of it though to canadian radio and then i'll be recording to to release some more singles so i'm just continuing to write and just hanging out with great people like you troy to well, get our songs you. out there so thank you what do you think about the process of uh just releasing singles now like like do a single every two to three months and just keep that rolling momentum kind of going yeah. i think so i mean i think it depends on you know how things are going too but um i, I think you know i released uh, no love left to lose in january and so I definitely need to release another one, but I just wanted to keep it going for Rob and, you know, yeah. but I think every couple of months is a good thing just to keep that momentum going. So then, you know, music directors and stuff, they know that you're still releasing yeah. songs. So you and haven't fallen off the face of the earth. And <laughs> yeah. And we were talking about song. this earlier off camera, like, like in this day and age of being able to re release yourself and do a digital release anytime right. that do you, do you overlap them? It's kind of like, uh, we're all experimenting now and maybe yeah. maybe that's what you do leave that one go um, keep promoting it get the next promotion in line and and you know layer it over the other one and, right. and keep the momentum yeah. going well and I think too the next song it's I'll give you a sneak peek it's called Better No Better and it's a really fun summer song and so down here in Nashville of course it's been like for my Canadian family it's been like 30 <laughs> degrees <laughs> and very hot and then yeah. for our Nashville friends it's been like 90 so it feels a lot like summer down here but back at home it's you know I talked to my parents this morning and it's eight degrees there and raining so it doesn't quite feel like summer yet even yeah. though you know it is summer finally but I, I think if I can one. release you know thank you if I yeah. I think if I can release it you know July or August then that's kind of more Canadian summer weather so yeah you I, get, I got to play to that like that I'm from too. <laughs> Minnesota bunch you know that already but it's kind of the same thing like we're up there and 
man, even when I lived there, like we'd be in June going, come on, summer. And, right. <laughs> and here summer start. I started mowing my lawn in March, you know. Right. So, so that's all we need to get my Canadian yeah. family down here so they can and have all the nice weather. 30 degrees <laughs> Celsius. Is that, is that 90? Is that 100? That's about 90. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So someday I'll get all them conversions down <laughs> I'm kilometers on it. It's, to. I mean, Celsius. I live with a southern yeah. boy, and <laughs> I, the, I'm still learning. Funny story is like back in in middle school, and I'm talking in the dark a- ages when we had candles for classroom light. <laughs> no, uh, but way back when they tried to convert uh, U.S. to from the King's standard, I think they call it, right. to uh, metric. metric. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wish it would have stuck because everybody else went with it and right. we stayed back here. Yeah, <laughs> but um, it's hey, good to be different. Yeah. yeah. What What uh, have you been playing much, or are you just working on new songs? I've just been writing. You know, working on new songs. Yeah. Uh, I've played a few showcases. Um, I did a writers' round at the Maxwell House, and one of my friends, Sonia Lee. I think you know Sonia. She yeah. plays at Puckett's in Franklin, and so she's always so kind and asks me to come up and sing you Very know, one cool. or two Lee songs. Rascone, so that's nice. Lee still running that. Lee is right. I think yeah. so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's been great. Very cool. Um, uh, Where can people find you online and what you're up to? I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm not super great on Twitter, you guys. I need to get better on that. Me too. I have a tough time with Twitter. But they're all connected, so anyways. But and, and I need to do some more Instagram stories. If you guys would be interested in hearing about my daily life, let us know. Because <laughs> I'm always like, I don't a, do fun enough things for people to care. But <laughs> is it Michaela Clark? On Michaela Instagram? Clark Aid on Instagram. Everything's Clark Michaela with Clark. An e. Yes. Yeah. Michael with an A. Clark with an E. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you recently got married, so I so did. you are an American citizen. Not yet. Not yet. No, How does it's, that it's work? It's hard. So I have my green card now, thankfully, okay. and so I can do pretty much everything an American citizen. Do you still can. have to go? This is just interesting to me because I, I have so many uh, friends from Canada now, right. like that that want to live here. And so when you get married, I thought it was automatically you become it a citizen. It used to be. Okay. It used to be, I think, but now there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through. But I mean, I get it. You know, it's just you don't want everybody. <laughs> Yeah, doing that. <laughs> doing that. So it's all just good. I mean, them. I have I have my green card, and so it just takes some time. But I think in three years I'll be able to apply for citizenship. But I will also be able to stay Canadian, so I'll have my dual. So well, that, I'll that's always be cool. Canadian as well. Yeah, and JD, your husband's a good guy. He is. Such he's a, a true farmer down here in Nashville. Yeah. yeah. So I'm waiting on that number one, so I can buy him that big John Deere and oh, yeah. 200 acres of land. So. Yeah, the inc- <laughs> with the enclosed cab and air conditioning yes. and 5.1 yeah. and surround a, sound and a buddy seat, so I can ride. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Hey, Mickey, thanks for coming here today. Thanks for having me, Troy. Yeah, I appreciate blast. it. And we got to write more songs, We right? do. Let's do it. All right, you guys, don't forget to check out my website, TroyCastellano.com, and my Blue Heaven studio. I do some demos here, too. And, and uh, just hit me up, and let's follow each other, and let's keep in touch, all right? All right, we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye. Bye.